What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I want to break down what's going on with Tesla Spy and video, the QQQ and a couple of other tickers, talk about why the market got this insane sell off after we saw some new announcements from the Fed and how things are looking moving forward on the charts. But before I break into the devil's information, let me first say that I am not a financial planner, take nothing I say as financial advice and also if you guys can please check out the Weeble link which is down below in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks. If you deposit $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 75 free stocks. And it's our friends very, very soon in just a couple of weeks. Anyways, looking at the market, we got a crazy, crazy sell-off that started just about a couple of hours ago. And this has been just insane as the market's making these new lows. So the question is, what's happening? Why is the market selling off like this? What happened was the market was pumping in the beginning off our, all of the jobs numbers and etc. Even after the bill auctions come out, it was holding up well. But then we had these, these Fed speakers come out. And they're leading to a lot of fear in the markets because the Fed is uncertain about the inflationary numbers. You see, when you look at the latest manufacturing numbers, we were seeing increases in prices, not to mention uh, big increases in new orders and such. And many forward-looking indicators are showing signs of inflation going up. Crude oil is going up, not to mention gas prices are increasing here in the U.S. So things are still pointing in the direction that inflation is not necessarily out of the window just yet. And then as a result, one of the main things making all the headlines right now is Cash Kari from the Fed. He said something very important. Cash Kari said that the Fed may not have to cut this year. They won't end up cutting this year if inflation stalls. That's very, very important. Now, to me personally, it's no surprise. This is something I did mention to you guys in my earlier videos. Jerome Powell said the same thing, essentially, that the Fed needs more data to be ready to actually cut. And so far, they don't have it quite yet. So the Fed is not ready to cut yet. And if this inflationary problem remains, if, we're, if we get another comeback in inflation, if we see, start to see gas prices going up as we approach the summer, right, it's not going to be the best of news. And if inflation goes up again, the Fed has to keep, keep rates higher for longer. We may not even get a cut this year. For me, it's no surprise, but the market is making this very, very big ex exaggerated move because of the options chain. So there's a lot of people buying calls on the zero date expirations options. And those people who are holding those just got annihilated by this price action so it's causing much more volatility insane moves so you want <coughs> excuse me you want to be very very careful so on spy we have 515 as resistance 516.5 above that and if you continue to sell off you're going to be looking at the support right here well there's 514 and also 513.5 to be watching for and then 512 i'm going to be watching this zone right over here uh, we're still looking kind of weak. I am seeing some buyers trying to def defend 515, but they're not doing the best of jobs. Could dip a little bit more, get closer to the lower uh, 514s first before it tries to get some kind of bounce. But the chart is still looking bearish. It's still looking very, very weak. And the weakness is still prevailing. So the market is showing weakness. Uh, we got this massive sell-off. Things are not looking that great. And we're starting to see, uh, you know, more sellers continue to let, like outperform those of the buyers. So, the market is now making its way with the ripple effect. It's starting to affect the others out there. So watch and see if Spy can try to get back above 515 and hold it. Otherwise, it's still on a bit of a sell-off. Tesla has been selling off quite a bit. It's actually trying to hold the very low 171s. Watch support at this 170 zone. We have 170.5 and also 170 flats. That's where our EMAs happen to be. Tesla's looking a little bit more bearish. So you want to be careful with it. And we have resistance currently at 172 followed by 173.75. Tesla is selling off looking pretty weak. We'll have to see if it holds up for now. But I just want to note that I, I would watch these this 170 zone to see how well it holds and just know that we are looking a bit more bearish on Tesla. For NVIDIA, NVIDIA is looking a bit more bearish as well. We got this big break right over here. here excuse me. We're approaching the support at 867, the zone right here. And if we lose this watch, 862, followed by the 858 area. For resistance watch, 872 and 877. As of right now, NVIDIA is selling off quite a bit, looking quite bearish. I'd be careful. It is trying to base right here in the mid uh, 868 area, but it's still looking kind of weak. And if the market continues to sell, this is going to drag us down. So it's still necessarily, it's still getting uh, dragged down by the markets. The QQQ got smacked from 446. We're actually down almost 10 points already. Uh, we're currently at 436. If we continue to sell off, watch 436 is key support. If we lose this, 434 is next, and 432. For resistance, watch 438. As of right now, it's still selling off. There's no sign of it bouncing yet. Still looking kind of weak. Apple's looking pretty weak. Got this big push to about 172. Got a big rejection. We're currently at 169. We're feeling this imbalance. Still looking pretty weak. Not looking the best, so it could sell off even more. So watch 169 is key support. If we lose that, watch 168. And we're still looking bearish. 
This is making its way throughout the entire market. So I'm going to end the video from here because I have something else I have to do. Thank you all so much for listening. The market is showing weakness. We're continuing to sell off because of the Fed and also because of these market makers and the options chain right now. So be prepared for more downside. Watch your supports. Let's see how SPY reacts to the 514 support. And we'll see how things go. But I just want to thank you all for listening. Please have an absolutely spectacular rest of the day. I'll see you guys in just a couple of hours. And peace out.